Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Do you want to learn how to upgrade your Windows 7 or Windows 8 PC for free? Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how. All right guys, let's jump right into it. And before we continue, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you can get notified when I do uploads on the channel and I post new videos. And a like also will help this channel get to more people. This is a very easy process. It's just going through a few prompts and that will be almost anything that you have to do. There's no, um, you don't have to put any information. And the first thing you need to check if is if your Windows is activated. There's a couple ways to check if your Windows is activated. So the first one that you will notice is that if right here on this bottom right hand corner, Usually when the Windows is not activated, it has a message saying Windows needs to be activated. That's the first one. The other one, you go into the Start menu, right click into Computer, and go into Properties. And we go into Properties, you're going to see here on the bottom it says Windows is activated or Windows needs to be activated. So this is the ways you're going to see because the only way this works is if your window is activated. Microsoft is giving you a, a free licensing upgrade for Windows 10 just because your Windows 7 or Windows 8 is activated. So now let's just keep continuing. This is a Windows 7 Home Premium Edition. So just keep that there. Now we're gonna open the browser. Here I already had the page open. I'm gonna leave this link in the description below. We're going to do, download this Create Windows 10 installation media. Click there. As you see, I already downloaded it. We're going to open Downloads, or you can click here. We're going to double click that Media Creation tool. Hit Yes. Now it's going to start doing some checks on your computer, see which type of system you have, which type of Windows you have and then it's just going to keep continuing. This process lasts around somewhere between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your Windows PC. So now we are here. We're going to hit Accept. Now it's going to keep gathering more information. It's going to start in a few downloading the Windows installation software, and it's going to do some verification and some other things. Uh, one thing is people will ask me, why I will upgrade my Windows 7 to Windows 10 if my Windows 7 is working fine. That is totally true. Your Windows 7 is might be working fine, but the problem is that Microsoft stopped giving security patches to Windows 7 as they stopped the support, and that might cause problems with new malware coming out from different websites or different things that might come into your computer because it's not secure. The other thing is that if you're a gamer and you want to play the latest games out there right now, uh, they don't have support for Windows 7. So you have to upgrade to a Windows 10 to be able to get the support and to be able to install those latest games. Now, as you can see, already prompt me with what do you want to do? It's asking me if I want to do an upgrade this PC now, or if I want to create the installation media itself for a uh, USB flash drive, uh, DVD, or ISO file. But we're going to do the upgrade this now because the installation media helps for any other type of computer that does not have internet. So you can actually do this without internet, but you have to create the installation media. Also, this tool helps upgrade your Windows XP or Windows Vista. But the thing is that it's not a free license if you need to buy the license. So we're just going to hit next. And now it's going to start processing the download. And I'm just going to skip this part right here. It's another couple of minutes here. So I'm just going to start where it prompts me for the installation. Now we got prompt with the ready to install. Now Windows 10 is ready to install in your system. So it says that it's going to install the Windows 10 Home Edition. And it has a check mark to keep your personal files and applications. Uh, but we want to make sure that we have a backup of your files and pictures 
and documents before we continue in case anything goes wrong with the upgrade. So just make sure that you have a backup. And the other thing is that when you do the installation, some of your apps might not work. So once the Windows 10 has finished the upgrade, you wanna make sure that you go through your apps and all of them are working. If not, just make sure that you download the latest version of that app that is compatible with Windows 10. Now the computer is gonna go through the whole upgrading process. So I'm just gonna skip all the way up to the end. The computer is gonna reboot a few times doing your, the installation, so don't worry. Just let it sit there. And once it's finished, you're gonna be prompt with your new Windows 10. Also guys, I'm having a giveaway on a fine, fine C1 microphone kit. And you can hit this card on the top right corner that will get you to the link where you can participate and you get until tomorrow, Friday, February 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern time to be able to get a chance to win this item. Now I'm gonna fast forward all the way up to the end when you're gonna be prompt with your new Windows 10. Now we're booting into Windows 10. The upgrade has finished. As we can see, we still have the same name, Windows 7, it's not gonna change. That's the name that you have for your computer. And as you can see, we are already on Windows 10. Um, as you see, there's no logo right here saying so Windows needs to be activated. And if you wanna make sure that your Windows is activated, we're gonna go through the same process we did before, but this way it's a little bit different. Instead of going to the start menu, you see there, you don't have my computer like you used to have in your old Windows 7. Now you have to literally click on the file explorer and where it says this PC, this used to be where uh, my computer used to be on the Windows 7. So I'm gonna right click there and you're gonna hit properties. And as you can see, we were on a Windows 7. Now we got Windows 10 home and your Windows is fully activated. So this is the whole process, a really easy process, only a couple clicks, uh, just Sit, let your computer sit and wait for it to finish. And the other thing is that if you see right here, my documents, pictures, and downloads are where they used to be. So nothing got changed. Um, the only thing, like I told you before, just make sure that you, if you're, any of your apps are not working correctly, just make sure that you go and install the latest one. And guys, this is all on this video. Uh, if you wanna see me do some other installation like a XP to Windows 10 or a Vista to Windows 10, just leave, leave it on the comments below. Also, you can follow me on my social media and just don't forget to subscribe, hit that like, hit that bell icon to get notified when I do uploads. And thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.